Hello again. In this video I will tell you five different ways to run neural network for image processing on ESP32. Uh, this video will be recorded from computer vision developer point of view. And if you professional in microcontrollers, probably it will be a bit strange for you. Okay, first of all, I must warn you that ESP32 is a very small and simple platform. Uh, it's possible to run neural network on it and we will talk about this, uh, but only with low performance. Uh, there are mm, very few tasks uh, where it is practically useful. But uh, this platform, of course, is a uh, very convenient and cheap uh, platform to experiment with. For example, it can be used uh, as a hobby project tools. For serious project, of course, I recommend something like Jetson Nana or Intel Nook or some Mavideos based platform or some Raspberry Pi Google Co Coral platform or a lot of different platform with good performance. But of course uh, for now there are a lot of uh, cheap and modern, modern microcontroller like K210 or Max2 or Arduino Portenta or a lot of different cheap platform. So let's start. There are three different approaches to run neural network on ESP32. First, let's talk about launching neural network through Arduino Studio. I would like to focus on three ways to launch. Uh, the first one is official way. Uh, you can launch neural network just in five minutes. You need to append expressive JSON to additional board manager, manager URL. Then you select uh, your board ESP32. Then you open example for camera. After that you select your board model, usually it's ESP32 CAM model. And after that you need to define your model in opened example and uh, specify your SSID and password from your local Wi-Fi. This approach has two downsides. First one, you will have to work with a lot of code. Uh, the examples are pretty big and uh, not very clear. Neural network are inferred uh, via expressive DL framework, uh, which is not very good in my opinion. There are no clear conversion guide, uh, many models are not available now. Uh, perhaps the Chinese documentation is more complete but I didn't find answer for few of my question. Uh, and there are almost no update for last year. Uh, I'm not sure that this framework is supported. Uh, but if you just use official network and uh, didn't uh, teach anything, this approach is not bad, uh, but uh, of course if you want to train something, it will be very hard. The second approach is through the Elocant Arduino library. I tried and I really liked it. Very clear inference code, very fast to install and run everything, but there are two downsides. Uh, this approach works very slow. It doesn't use the latest expressive tool to speed up uh, neural networks. Uh, for similar models, uh, use speed uh, will decrease almost 10 times. 
Uh, and the second problem, uh, I had some difficulties with the conversion of them of my model. Uh, the author give an example for only one person detection model, which use a bit strange architecture and doesn't have an original model for training. It's understandable how to fix everything, but I didn't want to spend several days on it. At the same time, examples of work for simpler non-computer vision models are given. They work and convert very well. The third way works well, and it has become almost a standard. This is Edge Impulse. In fact, this is a full circle development platform for the embedded devices. Data collection, model training, but remember, any no-code system is fine when you're doing simple task. One step away and uh, you will not be able to realize your idea. Uh, you can convert some non-standard neural network, uh, you can't proceed some uh, complex training procedure. Uh, for example, there will be a problem with a standard loss function and some uh, strange classification models. Uh, so be careful. But uh, directly for ESP32, uh, Edge Impulse is good enough for 80 or probably 90 uh, percentage of task. So the process. Uh, first, you create a data set with edge impulse. Then you train one of the neural network uh, from uh, the edge impulse or create your neural network. Uh, and then uh, you convert uh, your neural network as Arduino library. Uh, I will append link on full guide. Let's move on the second option, ESP IDF and direct C compilation. And first way, TensorFlow Micro from Google. TensorFlow Micro have ESP32 support. And it's pretty easy to start. You just install ESP IDF, which is super simple. And after that, you take TensorFlow Micro example. You need to build it and flush it to the device. At the first time when I was testing this approach, there was some problems with example. But as I see, they are already fixed. And now everything looks good. In my opinion, this is the most conventional example. Just look, it's easy to install and start. It has clean code for image preparation and neural network execution. It has end-to-end -end process for training and model conversion. And of course, it has full support of ESP32 capabilities, like uh, using ESP and N framework for maximize neural network performance. The expressive example, which we already mentioned above, can also be used through ESP IDF, but I wouldn't recommend uh, it. Uh, the reasons uh, I already told you. Uh, no end-to-end -end examples, no complete documentation. Uh, TensorFlow example uh, is more conventional and it's very simple examinant example and clear one. The third way to run is through MicroPython. I like this way the most. It's easy to run, you don't need to constantly overwrite the device for debugging. It's enough to flush the desired version of MicroPython once. To start with this approach, you just need install ESP tool on your host machine through the pip install. After that, you take TensorFlow MicroPython image and flush it on your device. And you are ready. I prefer to work with the device through the Tony, but you can use any serial monitor for this.
Ok, let's wrap everything up. Uh, easiest way to launch neural network uh, is uh, Arduino Studio. And in Arduino Studio you have three different ways. Easiest way, uh, elegant Arduino. Uh, the second easiest way, uh, original example. And the third easiest way is uh, edge impulse example. Uh, the second way to launch neural network is MicroPython. And the third way is ESP IDF. But uh, when we speak about uh, clarity and simplicity of end-to-end uh, -end examples, we need to recalibrate this table. And uh, the most easy way to train something and launch it is uh, edge impulse. But edge impulse uh, have some um, restriction for non-convention model. If you uh, create model yourself, probably it will be hard to train this model on edge impulse. Uh, so uh, the only two ways uh, that you can train your model yourself and launch it. It's uh, TensorFlow Micro, uh, which have cool end-to-end -end example, and uh, MicroPython. Um, for now, there is no MicroPython example, but in my next video I will show you one. So, thank you for watching, mm, subscribe, and goodbye.